27 here is Kangaskhan raid day and I've got to go out in a bit so we're going to do a few raids with you at home I did get my shiny Kangaskhan um, de oh, sorry, sorry, get my words out of the mouth I did get my shiny Kangaskhan yesterday but this is the raid day we've got a three hour window and this is the first Kangaskhan down and hopefully we can start ourselves very early and get something shiny here possible denial bit of XP there or friendship I should say can't get my words out today. I hope you're all keeping well. Let me know how you've done in the comments below. First one here in Waterfall in there as well in the lobby. We have a little notification at the end. Is the first one going to get us anything good? No, it is not. There's a 14.18. Let's try and catch this one very quickly. I think 14.77 is as it breaks out there. 14.77 is the hundo. Oh, Kangaskhan beating me around there. Come on now, let's get you. Let's get the first one in there. Let's see how many we can do in this very fast-paced vlog it's going to be. We do these all remote raiding. I'm not going to do the in-person free raid passes. And that is the first one done in there. And that is the first Candle Scarn caught. And we're in the raid lobby again here. We've got Pokemon in the UK. Mmm. Second raid here I'm sharing with you guys. This is going to be very fast-paced today. Pokemon in the UK. This is going to be a very quick one, I feel. With 11 or 12, 13. How many of us are in the lobby here? Let's see if we can get something good on this one. Pokemon UK brings all the luck. Definitely brings the look. Check out the Incense Podcast uh, pop socket there. Hopefully, we're going to get these released soon on Teespring. Check out Incense Pokemon Go podcast as well. The latest episode will drop by the time I release this vlog. I'm probably not going to get this one out in time for the raid day. It's more than likely going to be on the back of only Monday by the time I get this one out. So a little bit after Incense Pokemon Go, episode 64 has dropped. So, this is the second Kangaskhan down. Can we get anything good on here? JB, Patreon member there as well. Thank you very much for some friendship. The big one, Pokemon UK, which is a uh, typical Pokemon UK. Second one down. Can we get anything good on this one? No, we can't. Next one down. Here we go. So this is me. Excuse me using Lugia, by the way. Um, this is <laughs> not something I like to use when I'm doing these uh, races. Fighting type, a lot of them, I'm not replaying them at the moment because I'm trying to rapidly fire through these because we've got to go out and we've got some jobs to do today. So this is, I think, the third one now that I've done with you guys and girls. Let me know, have you got any shinies as well in the comments? I've mentioned that already, but please do that. It'd be great to hear from you all. Have you got any? This is really good that they've released this. But people don't have Kangaskhan and tying it in with the mega release on this side of the pond. It's really nice to get them a chance there. Thank you for the friendship there. And that is Zachary, who we met on Damien Ealing, and then this one for the calm day, not shiny at all. Now, another one. Oh, I'm actually not tapping away here. Hold on, let's get going here. Right, there we go, done. <laughs> Mega Kangs can't take it down. Match up, we've got some fighting type there properly. You caught me off guard there a little bit. There's, this is gonna be edited together very, very quickly. I don't know how this is gonna come together. But yeah, I wanted to share this with you so you can see I was playing some of the raid day. So let's fly through these bits now. Another 10,000 XP. I really should have put an egg on here. Stop smooth us now. Pokemon UK. Thank you very much. Can we get anything shiny? Here we go. Tom's in there as well. Come on. Will it in? Will it in? Will it? In? Will it? Here we go. No, no, no. 40-29. Let's see if we can catch this one. Let's throw a great purple throw at you. One, two, and three. <laughs> okay, that was far easier than it should have been. Gems Rush. That's why, here we go. We've got in Waterfall, we've got Cricket 23 in the raid lobby. Good to see you, Cricket 23. Plus, with Nile again. I'll be very lazy. I've not been sending out any invites on this one. Great to see Cricket 23 all the way from Australia in the raid lobby there. Very good, Mr. Waterfall. In Waterfall, please check him out. He is a member and a co-host of Intense Pokemon Go podcast, despite what some people think. Ian, I'm only joking. Much love to you, my man. Much love to you. So let's see how quickly we can take this one down. 13 of us in the raid lobby. This isn't going to take long at all. But yes, Intense Pokemon Go podcast. I already mentioned that earlier. Episode 64 has dropped. We have a bit of fun in that one. We do talk about uh, making a scan. We do talk about stuff all community day. We do talk a little bit about everything that's going on really in the game as we always do. And we have a lot of laughs at the same time as well. But yeah, we have got some great trips coming up. Some of those I've mentioned already. We'll chat about those during a little bit over the next few days actually because we'll be in Seville, in Seville very soon. Um, here we go. This is another Kangaskhan taken down. Can we get anything good? Is Ian going to give me some shiny luck? Please Ian. I need some shiny luck, my friend. I do need some shiny luck. <laughs> right, here we go. On the hyper potions, on the stardust. 
Here we go. In what for? 323. Possible denial. Who in there? Lovely little animations actually. I do like that. Very, very good flexing it on there. I need to do better at GB. And that, that's actually before we click on this one, that's a pause for a minute. I am up to rank 11 on GBL at the moment. So that's really good. But one thing that actually got me going, I saw Quick 23 there in the lobby. And it did get me wondering about the recent event that we had with um, ex Executor, or Execute, as I would normally call it. How Niantic mess up these events on the other side of the world before they get it. Now, I know this one seems to have gone smoothly, but just seeing that made me get really annoyed. And I do talk about that a little bit on the podcast as well. It really does infuriate me how they make these events up. Anyway, that's enough of me wittering on. Let's see, can we get anything shiny? I just, I think it's, it's not acceptable is where I'm going with this one. Yeah, it's not acceptable. No, it, they're not. <laughs> they should be better at this. They can't keep messing up these events. But anyway, can we get shiny? No, we can't. Right, here we go. And we've got another one going down. I've made a coffee now. Second coffee. I'm tapping away frantically. You seem to get two coffees in this vlog already. I don't think that much time has passed. But here we go. I don't know how many vlogs we've done. There's a few we haven't filmed. This is another one down. Come on now. We still haven't got any sparkles yet. About one in 10 of the odds for this kind of scar on raid day. We've not had one yet. We did get one when it was full odds, so I do feel slightly better. I say full odds, but it's about 1 in 65 for this one. Here we go. Uh, thank you, Zachary Catchum. Can we bring us some shiny look, Zachary? Here we go on the bonus challenge. Yes, you can! <laughs> yes, you can! <laughs> Finally, we've got the first shiny on this one. 14 28. Let's quickly throw you. I should put a pine up on that one. Oh dear, schoolboy error, schoolboy error. Thank you, Zachary, for bringing me the shiny look. And that's quite a nice way to wrap this vlog up. Certainly on the Kangaskhan. I was, I'm going to stop now. We've got the shiny. Kangaskhan shiny. That's my second one so far. And let's do a very quick check on you. 1428. You're not going to be anywhere near the top end. We've got 790 Kangaskhan. Minute energy. That looks like a 10, 10, 11, or 12. But that is really, really cool. And that is Kangaskhan Raid. I want to share with you a little friend of ours at the moment. So hold on. I'm going to move this. And then we're going to talk about May very briefly. Very briefly. But here we go. Doesn't look very impressed there. That is our friend Buddy. Buddy comes around every so often and he is taking part in the aftermath of Kangaskhan Raid Day. <laughs> there he is. He's absolutely amazing. Well, yeah, I had great fun recording that. Uh, let me get you straight on there. So it is later on in the day now. Um, done Kangaskhan. Can't even get this straight. There we go. Um, and I'm aware that this isn't going to come out until Bank Holiday Monday by the time we edit this and put this all together. But yes, as you can see there, um, it was really, really good fun. So yeah, um, really, really enjoyable on that. But yeah, it'd be very remiss of me if we don't jump into some of the main news which just dropped in Pokemon Go. It did drop, and if I'm honest with you, we've got a couple of events that I really want to very skirt over because actually by the time we watch this, we'll be leading straight into them. But anyway, Megalatius and Megalatios Sort to new heights in a global Pokemon Air Adventures event. So, so the first two legendary, mega legendaries, I believe, um, that can be released in Pokemon Go. This ties in with the Air Adventures global event starting on Tuesday, May the 3rd to Sunday, May the 8th. That's 10 a.m. local time on both of those days. Mega Latias, Mega Latias, mate. The Pokemon Go debut is in Mega Raids. Latias culture is people know the Charge Attack Mist Ball and Latios. Will Nova Charge Attack Luster Purge? The wild encounters with Flying Pikachu, Wingle, Drifloon, and others will appear more frequently in the wild. If you're lucky, you might, you might encounter a Charizard, which would be amazing, actually. I know it's not that rare a spawn, but a shiny one would be great in the wild. And a Mantine, if you haven't got your Mantines yet. Field Research Task Encounters will give us encounters with Flying Pikachu Do Duo when you complete Field Research Tasks. But let's jump into the May. I would say goodness, but I'm going to be a little bit reserved on this one. We're going to jump straight into the blah, 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 blog, because I'm repeating myself if I start reading that bit and that bit. You know what I mean. you stuck around with me long enough. So May content update, May Community Day, Tapu Fini is coming in raids, and Mega Moment and more. So we've got May Community Day being announced on May the 21st. It is Saturday. It is a low end geo dude. Think about that for a minute when you uh, when you pause your thoughts and all that. We're not going to delve into too much on that one, but it is Triple Catch Stardust, which with a star piece on will make it quite beautifully beneficial to you on that Stardust grind. We've spoken about upcoming events. These are the ones I really want to talk about. So we've got a mega moment. We've done that one, Mega Kangaskhan Raid Day. Lovely to have a, a, a raid day 
back again. Brought back memories of Ricky Tung raid day, actually. Really enjoyed that. We got a shiny on the raid day, and uh, that was nice. It was good to see loads of people getting shinies as well. What it looked like from what I saw on social media. We've spoken about the Pokemon Air Adventures, but yeah, the first legendary Pokemon that Kamega evolved will be dropping into Pokemon Go. That's pretty special. Let me know what you think about that one in the comments below. Water Festival's been announced from May the 12th to May the 20th. We'll get more details as we get closer to that, but we've got a mega surge of water Pokemon coming out there. And a lower to a lower from Wednesday, May the 25th to Tuesday, May the 31st. Yeah, so we're going to look back at the adventures trainers have had for this season of Alola. It's been really good fun. So, five star raids, we're going to have very informal Andros with us here till, oh, it's going to be till May the 25th. Um, sorry, sorry, until May the 3rd. Sorry, I'm reading this wrong. Until May the 3rd. I'm not going to edit that out. This is real time flow. Then Tapu Fini from Tuesday, May the 10th to Wednesday, May the 25th. I don't know if it's any good, but it's another one in that set. Then we have got on Wednesday, May the 25th to June the 1st. We've got the whole mixture of them. Coco, Lele, Bulu, and Finny. Yes, great. Mega Raids, Mega Kanga Scarm is with us until Tuesday, May the 3rd. So that'll be nearly done by the time you watch this. Then from then the 3rd to the 10th, Mega Latios and Mega Latios will be coming. Follow the Mega Blastoise and Mega Alteria, which is all fun. The Raid Hours, you know, I don't need to go into details. You can read them, but they pretty much mirror what we've just seen before on certain times. Alone and Griner is the main research breakthrough, which is slightly underwhelming. That rare Pokemon, which you can find in the wild, doesn't really do anything for me. Spotlight Hours, are they any good? Well, we've got Wingle May the 3rd, Numal May the 10th, Magikarp May the 17th, Seal May the 24th, and Pikipek on May the 31st. Yes, um, I think for me, Magic Carp on the 17th certainly interesting for those XL Carp grinds. You might be able to get a few on that one. And there's a couple of Stardust bonus there on the Seal Spotlight Hour. But yeah, XP for Pikipek as well. Yeah, a few items in the shop and the Buddy Widget debut. That's now how I've got that now on Android, which is really, really exciting. I like that. It helps us with the egg hatches on there. And that is all the events really I want to go into about May. Let's quickly shiny check these ones when I've got you. But yeah, it was really, really good. It's just been really, really good fun, actually. How we had the time from Stuffle, Com Day, Dan and Ealing, the double shundos. Still haven't really sort of sucked in too much. That hasn't. But we, it was an amazing time. And like I said, we shared some great photos on social media. Thank you for that. But that is it. That's said and done. I'm wrapping this one up by Masterful27. Thank you for support. Please check me out on TikTok, Masterful27YT. I have got a TikTok account. I'm putting quite a lot of content on there at the moment. So please check that one out. Also, my Patreon. I'm going to throw a few more posts onto my Patreon. There's quite a bit on there already. So please check it out. Very small tiers. Please have a look at it. And if you can support me any further and the channel and its growth, that'd be great. I'm going to be going to Seville this month which would be amazing. Some of that, some of the sort of support you put into my Patreon will help me cover some of the costs for my trip over there. And I have also got Berlin on the plan, the travel plans for the end of June as well. So really excited for what is coming up over the next couple of months. Members of Instagram, thank you for your support. Please smash a big thumbs up. Have that bell on for the notifications to make sure you get all the updates on the channel. And like I said, members of my Patreon, Really do appreciate you taking your support to the next level. I really do. I say that all the time because I mean it. And your names will be on the end of this vlog, which is one of the things you get for joining my Patreon, which is amazing. Well, that is done. I'm Asphalt 27. Thank you for checking out this two-part vlog. We've got our shiny Kangaskhan and we talked about May. So I think we're up to date for now. For now, anyway. See you soon.